Hey, what's up, world, and welcome to the Take One Podcast, episode 82. And we're almost there, almost at 100. And uh, this isn't making it any easier as far as talking about it. Now, as we all know, that uh, Movie Pass has been in and out of basically the news out of everyone's mouth. Everybody that knows about Movie Pass that you know is a part of Movie Pass that has subscriptions or anything. Basically, just if you're involved in the movie world, you know of Movie Pass and everything that's surrounding it. Sometimes good, majority of the time is bad as far as this year goes. Now. I've been a person that's been with Movie Pass ever since I say maybe September or October around this year. I think I ordered my car around September, or got it in October of last year. So yeah, I've been. I guess you could say September. So uh, as far as being involved with you know my subscription, and I've been loving it. You know, the first review that I ever gave on Movie Pass was I say it may have been earlier this year. I forgot when, but it's on my podcast and. I was just reviewing it and basically just giving it the pros and cons and uh yeah I, I loved it i loved it i would recommend it to anybody but slowly stuff started to change and i basically been documenting my frustrations with it and i did do an episode i think it was episode 79 was uh my current frustration with movie pass and since then it came out with uh, going from 15 to $10 and everything else. And I talked about it on uh, another review or, you know, another podcast. I think it was the last podcast. Yeah, uh, 81. So on episode 81, I was talking about it and how much I love them changing it back to, you know, not making the $15, but, you know, keeping the $10 and, you know, the three movies a month and, you know, discount on other tickets. And, and like I praised, I loved it or whatever. And in that, I kind of talked a little bit about certain things that were going with it. At first, I thought it was just uh, this email that they had sent me or something I was looking up that uh, the reason why my uh, I wasn't able to look at certain films was because it was something wrong with my, you know, the version of the Android I had. Come to find out that it's not. So uh, I ended up re I ended up updating the Movie Pass app on my phone, and got an email. Uh, not too long ago, when was the email? I think it was like a couple days ago or something like that. Yeah, uh, well, you know, it was yesterday. Yesterday, so I got an email from Movie Pass, and it basically this is one of those cases where I was going to vent my frustration out earlier this week. But I had prior um, engagements, so I wasn't able to put out a podcast. And that's what episode 82 is going to be about. It still is, but with further, you know, with further knowledge and information to, you know, make my case. So basically what's been going on with me as far as movie pass was that it'd be times where I will go on the movie pass app, let's say in the morning time. And, you know, I would check it, you know, just to see the movie times that they got on there. And they'll have, you know, movies like Slenderman, uh, Mission Impossible, Christopher Robin, you know, <clears throat> whatever movie is out. They'll have it on the app. And throughout the day, I would notice that some of them would get eliminated from off the thing. Even though they do have, still have show times for later on in the day. And <clears throat> basically they still would get eliminated for some reason. You know, if you had, you know, Slender Man on there that has later shows to about eight, nine, something o'clock, around five o'clock, maybe eight at the latest, they'll cut those rest of those, you know, uh, showings off to where it says that, you know, um, there are no more screenings for this theater today. But at the same time, when you look on Fandango, Adam Tickets, or anything else, you'll see that there is still a, you know, there's still show times for this movie at this theater. So, I, I was just kind of like taking off. And a lot of times, I think I mentioned <clears throat> that a lot of the times when I go to the show, 
it is the later show or the latest show. So if it's like a 9.50, 10, 10.30, maybe 11 o'clock show, those are the shows that I go into so that, you know, whatever I'm doing, if I'm like, uh, a lot of times it's convenient for me, you know, so, but basically if I'm getting off of work and let's say I wanted to take a nap or something so I'm not like sleeping when I go to the show or if I gotta take care of some things and stuff like that, that way I have, you know, at least five hours or so that I could take care of certain things and then I can go to the show. And then that ends off my night. And those are the most convenient times at majority of the time for me. And a lot, a lot of times around eight, it will get taken off. Like I literally, literally uh, took uh, screenshots of it to show that, yeah, this is it in the morning time. When it comes to about eight something, whatever, showtimes are eliminated for certain movies. And then after around eight something o'clock, maybe a little bit sooner, it gets eliminated completely. And I'm just like, what? So I'm just scratching my head. Like, I'm just really frustrated at times because earlier this week, now I'm not clamoring to see Slenderman. I'm not clamoring to see Slenderman. But when you say you want to go to the show and then you like, you know what? I wouldn't mind seeing Slenderman. You know, you in the Slenderman mood. You're in a horror movie type mood. And I, you want to go to the show. And let's say you don't have the option of coming out of pocket to pay for the show. But you want to use movie pass. But you can't because the showtimes was there. And then five minutes later, it's not. Uh, and I was pissed off. I, I, I sincerely tell you guys, I was pissed off at movie pass because literally and i kid you not i didn't exit out the app or anything <clears throat> i think my i think i left my phone alone and it locked up so i went back on there and at first the slender man screens was on there and then once i unlocked my phone it was gone and i'm like are you kidding me and yeah when you're at one of their partner theaters you can go see all the show times at any time blah 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 no matter what time of the day but any other theater you're gonna have this problem <clears throat> so i was pissed i was mad because it's been happening for like weeks now and they're just now addressing it in their you know um on their email which i'm gonna basically read i'm not gonna read the whole thing just summarize it <clears throat> so basically uh it starts off saying uh to our members today we're rolling out a new subscription plan that was announced last week we believe our new model provides great value to movie pass community and equal importance well <clears throat> equally important ensures that we can continue to provide these benefits to enjoy into the, so you can enjoy into the future as part of our transition to a new subscription plan, we want to share more details about our service moving forward as part of our commitment to keep you fully informed. Well, they're about a, like a week or something too late, but whatever. Uh, for the time being, we will be limiting the films and showtimes that are available to members each day. During the transition period, MoviePass will offer up to six films to choose from daily including select major studio first run films and independent releases yeah in addition showtime availability may be limited depending on the popularity of those films on the app that particular day and uh the next paragraph just to sum it all up is that they basically were just telling you that it will change the six movies and if you want to see the movies that will be on each day, you they gave a link to the to the movie pass website to where you can view that. That way you can plan ahead. How how uh considerate of them. How very considerate of them. And they basically just told you they basically just tell you to, you know, um check the you know the movie pass app before leaving out the crib. That way, you'll know that you're not surprised when you get to the movie theater and you can't tap on it. Now, let me tell y'all why I'm so frustrated with this. Why this is upsetting me. It's pissing me off to the highest point. Um, so, like I said before. Well, actually, just to put everything in perspective. Like I said before. That when I am... 
looking at a movie throughout the day. You know, in the morning time, it may be six films. Then later on, they eliminate some. Toward the end of the night, they just do away with it completely. What's the point, really? What is the fucking point at this point, you know, of doing this if you're just going to take it off the app? Now, I can see if they gave us an option to, you know, uh... You know, plan ahead, you know, where we can not even plan ahead uh, to where we can do it online, where we can go on their app and just pre-order it. Or they gave us the option to, you know, order online or something like that. Not everybody lives right next to a theater or can go to a theater right away or go to the theater early or something like that. Because you only have 30 minutes to do it. And with the app, you have to be right there at the theater in order to go into it. Unless it's an e-ticket. Then you're able to do it, you know, however long or whatever until you get to the theater. What's the point of doing that if, say, yeah, I'm going to check the movie pass app before I leave out. And then by the time you get to the theater, oh, there's no more showings for this movie at this theater today. What fucking sense does that make? Tell me, explain to me, elaborate more on that. Because they're coming out trying to be transparent. And I and I, I fully understand it and I appreciate it. But as a fan, as a person that wants to see your company thrive and that use your product, maybe I'm, like I said, I'm one of those people that they want to get rid of because I use it so much. But at the same time, what's the point of it if we can't even use it? So you're literally doing away with the people that may not see the movies that often maybe they use it twice maybe three times at the most maybe a month but they still have your service and maybe the times that they go to it maybe is around midnight well not midnight but you know at in the nighttime around the time that you cut it off or you know you take the movies off of being you know available to us to go see what is the point of it if you're just going to do that i understand you're trying to be transparent you're trying to let us know what's going on but i mean truly allow me to understand it like help me to understand it and i basically wrote to them which i was going to read and all this stuff i'm gonna just put it on here so if you're watching this on youtube you will see it i'm gonna have the pictures and everything else uh going through there and it's gonna be one after another just basically showing my whole dilemma because i even tell them through the help chat that adam says that they're still screening so why are you taking it off and they just gave me the same bs talking about like um we're still fixing things and blah 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 and all this bull and i'm just like oh my gosh this this is one of those things where uh if i had the option as of right now which coming up i'm gonna have the option really quick i'm just maybe going to drop movie pass i mean that that becomes an option real soon for me it really does. If you guys don't know, it's nothing like I haven't really spoke on too much. But basically, I got into a car accident. I've been off of work for about five months and stuff. And I just got back to my job. So next week, I'm getting me an A-list um, Stubbs membership. So it's really about to come close to me leaving MoviePass. Now... I was watching um, Kevin T. Rodriguez and he talks a lot about, you know, movie pass and everything else. So my subscription literally just started. So, you know, a lot of people will have their subscription just started, but still not part of the new plan or whatever the heck. So they get frustrated and cancel out their things, which is, that was a whole nother thing because people are getting false cancellations where they think that they canceled, but they didn't and blah, blah, blah. And so he made a good point. Like if you still have like a whole month or, you know, at least a few weeks until your subscription re, you know, uh, starts again or whatever, why even exit out of it? Why won't you just do what you can do? And it's like, okay, yeah, I get that. But what's the point of it? If you barely can see any type of movies, what's the point of it? 
I understand, like, I can get with you limiting six movies a day for us, cool, whatever. But if you're not allowing us to see it after a certain time, like I said, not a lot of us have time, are able to go see a movie early at the time that they had it. A lot of people are not, you know, a lot of people, this is the best time for them is around the 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock, uh, 10 o'clock type showing. And if you take it off your app, you're preventing everybody from seeing a movie unless they're near e-ticketing theater and it sucks because not everybody is near e-ticketing theater i am near one but it's a good distance out the way the closest theater to me is a new vision and uh uh, uh amc and those are about 10 maybe 15 minutes away the e-ticketing theaters i live by is about 20 almost 30 something minutes away so you you kind of look at it you know and it, it just it doesn't make sense so like my friend shay says make it make sense if you're going to do that at least keep the option for us to watch it to the end to the last screening whatever theater is at whether it's e-ticketing or whether if not a partner theater you know give us that option that's the one thing that's pissing me off right now because right now it's like I want to see a movie. And then it's sometimes that they say that they eliminate up to six movies and stuff. But if you're eliminating movies from it, or if you're just reducing it down to one, which the day that I wanted to go, I think it was Tuesday. I want to think, cause I, I'm not looking at the thing right now, but I don't know if I screenshotted it. I don't think so. But I think it was Tuesday. Yeah. Matter of fact, yeah. Cause Slender Man was the only movie I could see that day. Even from the morning all the way up until they cut it off, Slender Man was the only movie I would be able to see that day. And that's why I was so adamant because it's like, I haven't seen it yet and I was in the mood for a horror film. And you guys, I do this podcast every week. I love movies. You guys know I love movies. I do movie reviews and everything else. I love movies. I go to the movies every single week. Every single week. Why in the hell would you do that to a person that's been with you? Now, I'm not one of those people that's been with y'all ever since the $50 deals and blah, blah, blah and all that. But still in the same sense, I've grown to love movie pass. I'm just not loving what you guys are doing. It's just really sucking. And this continues my frustration with movie pass. So they're basically saying in the email that they're going to basically keep doing this until everybody is transferred over into the plan. Which I think, which in my mind, this is not going to end. This is not going to be a thing where like, oh, you know, it's a Zion. Once we get to, you know, uh, September, once everybody's over to the plan, we ain't got to worry about this no more. Then everything's going to be good. It's like they're making that promise, but their promises don't mean shit because of all the stuff that we've been going through with MoviePass. I know a lot of people will be getting frustrated, leaving MoviePass, cutting up their cars, done with it. I'm one of those people that's with other people that are staying on just to see the transition, seeing if things will get better. Because MoviePass, no matter how frustrated I get, I have to admit it is a great deal. It's just they need to get they shit together they need to they they seem like they was coming out with a plan at first like yo okay we got this new plan we're gonna do this and blah 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 but now you're pulling this bullshit you know you're making it harder for people that want to stay to stay i mean you're making it harder for people that want to leave to stay you really are and i guess that's really their plan because they at what at the rate they're going they're going to be pushing away a lot of people that so that million subscribers and stuff that they're you know over here putting out and glorifying i think it was like what three million subscribers and stuff once they rolled out the ten dollar plan it's gonna go to maybe a hundred uh, like probably like a million subscribers Maybe even below that. I mean, I probably could be way off, but still in the same sense, this type of stuff pisses people off. A lot of people don't have the option, so they're stuck dealing with movie passes shit. I don't have that option. I'm glad I don't have that option because I live near two movie theaters. I mean, not walking distance live near, but, you know, driving, like I said, 10, 15 minutes away. Within 15 minutes away of, you know, a movie theater that's New Vision. And then a movie theater that is an AMC. 
So I have the option to where it's like once I get AMC A list, if I can't use the movie pass card, go to AMC. <laughs> you know, it's it's like I have that option, and you're giving you're making the option for other people. Um, I don't know how there's war. I don't even know if you can call it war, but a battle for the bucks between you know Movie Pass and AMC, but. I think AMC is going to be winning because a lot of people are going to be jumping ship. Even if they got both cards right now, I know a lot of people are probably going to be canceling their shit. They're going to be like, look, you know, it's not even worth keeping it until the end of my, uh, my, uh, you know, thing or whatever. So fuck it. AMC, here I come. And it's like, I just, I just kind of like hate how they're doing stuff. I really am. I really am. I'm getting really frustrated. I'm not truly animated. I'm not screaming at the microphone like a lot of people will probably do. But in the same sense, I'm just, I'm tired of their bullshit. That's basically what it is. I'm just tired. Very tired because I want them to, I want them to succeed. I want them to get better. Like I said, the plan that they rolled out or they, you know, basically started, you know, for a lot of subscribers, not everyone, but the new plan that they're having, it's like, that's basically what I, you know, wanted to, wanted them to do in the first place. Discount, you know, maybe a discount service with maybe one movie a month. And then you can rack up, you know, up to four, you know, movie, uh, free movies and use them within the six months of you getting it you know have it like that and this plan is basically taking what i did and making it a little bit better because they're giving you three free movies and giving you discounts and stuff you know so it's like i love the plan if it's going to help them get better it's better than moving it to 15 dollars with surcharges but just the bullshit i have to deal with until i get to the new plan it's just really, it's really stupid because with them doing it right, the way that they're doing it, they're encouraging people to go to the movie theater and getting a ticket for later on. Because that's literally what you will have to do if you got the time or whatever to go to the movie theater, which is kind of like an inconvenience, which is another word I use on my current frustration part one, because this is part two. Um, it's like, that it's really an inconvenience for us. Because that's basically saying that if we don't live near an e-ticketing theater or it's not really an option, you know, unless you're truly desperate to go see a movie that MoviePass has on there, but it's not available for any other theater besides a partner theater. It's like, it's just, it's really inconvenient. So you will have to go to the movie theater, purchase a ticket, maybe at, you're at 5 o'clock, purchase a ticket for a 10 o'clock show. Go home, do a couple things, and go right back to the theater and then come back home. It's like, that's gas. You know, that's that's gas. It's, it's, I don't know. Man, maybe I'm alone. I doubt it. I really doubt it. But it's, this is just some bullshit, man. This is just, I don't I just hate it, but like I said, if y'all watching this on YouTube, listen, well, y'all listening to this on YouTube, uh, I'm going to have the screenshots of, like, all the, uh, you know, movie pass stuff, everything I hear with the conversation and everything, and it's, man, it's, it's just, it's trouble in paradise. It's just, it really sucks to be a movie pass user right now, but in any case. That's all I really got to say about that shit. That's really all I got to say. Um, and so with that, uh, let me go ahead and get into uh, the next thing, which is the box office segment. I'm going to try and be up a little bit. I'm going to try and be a little bit cheerful. But yeah, so yeah, let's go ahead. I was going to get to another subject, but I already talked about this for like 23 some minutes. So yeah, let me go ahead and get into it. So this is the box office segment where I give my prediction. Well, I will give you what my predictions were last week for this weekend and tell you what movies dominated over the weekend. Uh, and, well, yeah, basically dominated over the weekend and tell you the movies that are coming out and then give my predictions for next week, well, for the weekend of what movies will dominate. Now, I'm doing this a little bit late. So. Uh, yeah, it's kind of confusing. My whole week has been kind of like 
off. <laughs> so I'm about to go ahead and do this. So last week, my predictions were as followed. The top five over the weekend was going to be Mission Impossible, Fallout, take the number one spot. Then Disney's Christopher Robin at number two, The Meg at number three, Slenderman at number four, and The Spy Who Dumb Me at number five. Um, I was wrong. I was wrong. Uh, two of them I didn't expect to be in there, but they were. And I'm just surprised. So basically, the Meg came in at number one over the weekend, taking in at $45.4 million and worldwide $146.9 million. Mission Impossible Fallout came in over the weekend with 19.3 million domestically 161.3 million and the worldwide total is 436.9 million Disney's Christopher Robin over the weekend did 12.9 million domestically 50 million and worldwide 62.9 million Slender Man came in at number 4 over the weekend with 11.3 million and worldwide 11.8 million and rounding off the top 5 is Black Klansman which did over the weekend 10.8 million and worldwide did 11.2 million now yeah um, I didn't think Black Klansman was going to be in the top 5 not saying that I didn't think it was going to be a good movie because like I stated before, I was hearing some stuff about it and just all good things, just all good things about it. But I didn't think it was a, a movie that enough people had heard of for it to for it to at least be a number five. But I was wrong. Um, it ended up making the top five or whatever. I mean, it didn't do a crazy amount, but it's just an independent movie. I mean, you know, a well, I ain't gonna say independent. I guess you can call it an independent movie. Uh, it's, it's a low budget movie as compared to the other movies that are on the list. I mean, of course, Mission Impossible, Meg, Christopher Robin and Slender Man. This movie is, you know, kind of like more independent. It's not a big budget movie like that. But I'm surprised to see it on there. Meg, I didn't think it was going to do that well. I really didn't think. But I was wrong. I was wrong. Still haven't seen it yet. Am going to go see it sometime or another. Uh, but that's those are the things that really stood out to me. Just just that, you know. I thought the spy who dumped me was probably gonna do a little bit better this week. Obviously it didn't. And then, you know, that's basically what it is. That's all I gotta say about that. Uh nothing really surprising to the you know, my eyes on there. And then coming this weekend, since it is Friday, you know, whatever. So the movies that came out are uh crazy rich asians which by the trailers it seemed like a 50 shades of gray type of movie but it's more of a what it looks like a romantic comedy without minus like the huge amount of soft porn sex and then we have alpha which is a movie i'm steadily kicking myself in the ass for not checking out last year and yep i said it last year so um, I think it was supposed to come out, I believe it was supposed to come out last year. I'm not sure, but I know I got an early screening to go see it. I think it was like, actually, I think I got like a couple like last year. I think it was like around a little bit earlier last year, maybe around June or something. And then I got another screening to go see it in December of last year. And I never went to it. But I never thought about, you know, when it was coming out. And it always says that coming soon, coming soon. It never had an official date. And to know that this movie is coming, came out this weekend, I probably wouldn't want to go see it because more than likely it was one of those test screenings. Not like a full test screen. They probably had the whole movie done, but they probably was, I mean, it probably was a test screen. It probably just like how, uh, what is it? Don't Breathe was. I missed the screen. I was be able to like when that movie came out i think it was like yeah 2016 uh i was supposed to go see it one week and i ended up missing it because i got the dates wrong i thought it was a thursday well i thought it was a friday when it was a thursday the screening was and so it was like back in april and as you guys know i don't know if you guys remember but um and I'm going I'm to get to the rest of the box office. Don't get me wrong. I just wanted to tell this little story. But if you guys remember, that year, Don't Breathe came out in, the, I believe, the middle of August. 
So I could have seen that movie, you know, a few months back before anyone else seen it, you know. So I'm still kicking myself in the ass for that because that wasn't one of the things where it was like, you know what, it's going to come out in the next couple weeks. I, I ain't going to see it. It was one of those things where I didn't even know when it was coming out, but to find that it, I could have saw it months prior and I just literally got the days wrong. Like, I was literally on my way there. And I was like, you know, let me check it. And I looked at the thing, and it says Thursday. And I'm like, oh, are you fucking kidding me? And there was no more screenings until around the time it was supposed to come out. I think like a week or so before it was supposed to come out or that same week. So it was like, it wasn't the same. And Alpha was the same, you know. It was like, like I said, I had quite a few chances to see it last year early. And... I skipped out on it because it wasn't anything that I felt like, you know, it was just eh, whatever. But looking at it now, I probably should have went to at least one of those screenings and checked it out because I would have seen it almost a year maybe beforehand. And it probably was, was one of those test screenings. But that are, you know, in any case, like maybe they just hit the finished product. They wanted to get people's opinion and then went back for reshoots. I don't know. I I would just love to have seen what they would have had, what they had before as opposed to what they got now. And so also what came out this uh, week, well, this weekend is uh, Mal 22, which I did get a chance to see last night. I'm going to have that review up sometime soon, hopefully by this weekend, by the end of this weekend. And, uh... That's just really just kind of what well, I, I forgot to tell Alpha about. It's just about like how the bond between man and dog became and it's like caveman. I don't know, but uh, yeah. And so Mal Twenty Two is just about a person that's being transported twenty two miles, and they got to keep him safe because he holds some information that they need, and he won't give them the key to unlock it unless he gets safely unless he's basically safely getting out of the country to the usa and yeah those are the three movies that are coming out uh since i've already seen mal 22 crazy rich asians isn't a movie that i'm dying to want to go see or i'm i'm kind of curious kind of curious to see it i may end up going to go see it maybe not i don't know it's one of those movies where if I don't see it in theaters, I'm not going to kick myself in the butt. Unless I see it on um, DVD and see that it is a great, a great movie or it's really, really good and, you know, whatever. But it's not one of those movies that kind of get me. So I say Outfit is the one movie that I really want to see. But I am trying to catch up on the movies that I haven't been seeing because of Movie Pass. Um, <laughs> and you know, I know a lot of people screaming like, why don't you just pay for it out of pocket, blah, blah, blah. Didn't have the option. Didn't just really sincerely did not have the option. That's basically what it is. I'm just now getting back to my main job and, you know, money is strapped, you know, I have to pay for more important things, gas, food, blah, blah. blah. So, you know, it was strapped. But if I had the money on me, that wouldn't have been the case. I wouldn't mind paying for a ticket. I probably would have went. Tuesday, probably seen a double feature, but you know, it's just whatever. But uh, in any case, so let's go ahead and end this off in with getting to my predictions for this weekend. So, my predictions for this weekend, I think, um, with just the ads that I've been seeing from Mal 22, I think that it's been basically getting around to a lot of people, and I ain't gonna say create a lot of buzz, but. It's been getting around to a lot of people, so I think I could be totally wrong, but I've been seeing a lot of advertisements for it. Probably not as much as the Nun, which uh, I probably might talk about that real soon. I don't know if it's in the quick take or if I'm going to put out another podcast this weekend. But basically, I've been seeing a lot of promotion and you know stuff for this advertisements for Mal 22. So I think it has enough awareness for people to go see it. Um, I think that's going to take the number one spot. The Meg is going to be dropped down to number two. Uh, I think Mission Impossible is going to do pretty good in the number three spot. Uh, I think Alpha is going to debut at the number four spot. I could be wrong. It probably is not going to be up in the top four. I mean, up in the top five, period. But I don't think a lot of people are aware that this movie came out. Like, 
I I literally forgot this movie came out. And I do this. Maybe if I would have did it early in the week, then, you know, it probably would have rang in my head. But I was like, I had to ask myself. I'm like, I'm on, is Alpha out? And I'm looking at the Movie Pass app, and I see it's on there. I mean, I couldn't go to it because I'm still on the old plan. So they blocked out major studio films. But, well, a lot of them. But at the same time, I'm like, is Alpha out? Is it really out? I don't know. Whatever. And then rounding out the top five, my prediction is Disney's Christopher Robin. I think is going to round off the top five. So basically, it's going to be. Hold on, let me delete this. Basically, it's going to be uh, Mal Twenty Two, The Meg, Mission Impossible, Fallout, uh, Alpha, and Disney's Christopher Robin. So those are my top five predictions for next weekend. Hopefully, I'm right. Hopefully I'm right. I don't know why I'm sounding like Baldy. Uh, I don't know if you guys know what that game is. My son, he doesn't play it, but he watches other people play it on YouTube. So, yeah. Baldy's education and learning. But, yeah, that rounds up my top five. And uh, if you guys would be so kind, let me know what you guys think and all that stuff. And I will catch you guys on episode 83, whenever that is. Whether it's this weekend or next week. Hey, whatever. But uh, I will catch you guys next time. Peace out. Hey, hey, before you guys leave, make sure you hit that like button as well as that subscribe button. And you see that little bell? Make sure you hit that to turn on your notifications. That way you'll be notified for anything that appears on my channel. Hope to see you guys next time. Peace out.